Bearing the cold and flowers in hand, North Koreans have been gathering at the Mansu Hill Grand Monument in Pyongyang for the 10th death anniversary of their second supreme leader. Citizens flocked to pay tribute to Kim Jong-il, placing bouquets at his feet. As I come up here and see the image of our great general Kim Jong-il with his smile, I can't stop my tears. The old saying is that time moves on and everything changes. But even though time goes on, we still miss our general. The date also marks 10 years of his son Kim Jong-un in absolute power, who inherited the leadership aged only 27. Kim Jong-un has been accused of removing all potential rivals, including his half-brother by nerve agent and his uncle for treason. He is also Pyongyang's first ruler to hold a summit with the US president, having met with President Trump in 2018. But relations with the US have not since developed. North Korea has also seen rapid progress in its nuclear arsenal in the last decade defying the UN Security Council to develop missiles that can reach the whole of the US mainland, which analysts argue will isolate the country further. We need to have North Korea opt for denuclearization of its own free will by making it see that possessing nuclear weapons is detrimental to its security and economy. North Korea is commonly considered one of the most isolated and secretive nations in the world. Whilst dependent on trade with China, the country closed its borders tighter since the pandemic, taking a heavy toll on the already troubled economy, with reports of food shortages that have been compared to a famine in the 1990s.